this video, guys, I just want to show you how good these Sun Gold charge controllers work. Um, like this one right now is putting out 29.91 amps. This one's putting out 29 amps. And basically, the one down there below is also been saying this one's not activated right now. So these all go into this bus bar, right? Come out of that bus bar on this red cable into this breaker, which then goes to the batteries to charge the batteries. The batteries are like 99% charged right now. So what I want to show you is the charge controllers right now are putting out um, 110 amps DC power, 90. I mean, they're all over because we're trying to keep these batteries charged because we have a draw of 40. So we're drawing about 8,000 watts out of our house right now with pumps and everything going. So right now, these charge controllers are pumping out 122 amps DC power, okay? This side is what the inverter is pulling, okay? So if I clip on over here, you can see that the inverter is pulling 109 amps. So when this fluctuates, when something gets turned off in the house, this fluctuates, goes up and down. Um, and like I said, we're pulling a lot of power right now. We're about, what I say, 48%, 41%. 41% of a uh, max of what that charger or that inverter will do, which is 18,000. So we're pulling 109 now. Charge controllers will fluctuate and go back and forth. It's pulling 109. So these charge controllers are basically saying, hey, the batteries are dang near full, but we're going to keep them full. So when this inverter pulls power, we are going to supply enough power out of these out of these charge Like right now, you can see it just dropped to 0 0.3 and back up for 26. See how these are fluctuating? There's not a cloud in the sky outside, but these are fluctuating to allow the batteries to stay fully charged, but not overcharge. So, like I said, 28, 29, down to 17, because the batteries, like I said, the batteries are like 99% charged. And this just revved up. It's at 15 percent so something shut off so yeah everything's now cooling down so now these are uh, going to cool down and they're not even producing one amp they're just trickling not 0.16 of an amp out of that one but this one's pushing 27 amps still so this one's doing a lot of the work right now they're not warm at all the uh, charge controllers are putting out 109 amps. And the system right now is using 109 amps. <coughs> so, guys, that's all I want to do is explain to you how well these Sun Gold charge controllers work and what they do. They, they work great. They just work great. Um, they keep these batteries up, you know, right around 99, 98%. And just fluctuate and keep them up until the sun goes down and then you rely on these batteries there's five of them here and on our system they basically barely make it through the night before uh, they need charged again um, about 7 30 is when i go to seven o'clock about when i go and leave for work and they're usually about 15 to 20 percent left and if the sun's up they'll recharge if not the pg or commercial power kick in and charge through the inverter but I have this inverter turned down all the way for the charger in it. So it'll basically keep them trickled until the sun comes up and takes over and charges them. Um, anyway, guys, we went from a about a $450 a month power bill down to about $4 a day. So four times 30, that's $120 power bill right now. And that's with our hot tub and ovens and everything. The whole house is on power. Anyway, guys, Sun Gold charge controllers, awesome.